In 2022, Eckerson Group released a white paper around driving adoption in the BI space. In that white paper, they revealed that um, self-service features drive adoption um, across reportedly 73% of respondents to their survey. This was the leading factor in driving adoption. And so today I wanna to talk about four tips that you can implement to help a Tableau be more adopted in your organization. The first tip I have is to utilize parameters. In this dashboard, we have a few cards at the top that tell us about our sales and profit. And then underneath that, we have kind of a table or a spreadsheet view of our data. On the right side, you can see I've got L1, L2, and L3. That stands for level. Level one right now is set to segment. But if I click into that, I can look at category, subcategory, segment, state, region, other things like that. In addition, I've got two other levels that I can control. So as an example, if I want to look at category and subcategory, all I have to do is come over here to the plus icon and drill down to see category, subcategory, and all the underlying data. To create those parameters, what I did was create a parameter, and then in this menu, change the type to a string, and then I populated the possible list. And so this would be, in your data set, it would be the possible dimensions that you'd want your end user to select from. Once you create that parameter, you create a complementary dimension. It's a calculated field, and I have mine nested in a hierarchy, which is actually tip number two. But those calculated fields look like this. We're gonna case that parameter, and then we're just gonna run through our strings. These are all the options I have on the menu. When it's category, return the dimension category. When subcategory, return the dimension subcategory, so on through all your possible options. My dimensions are basically identical. And then what I did was create a, uh, create a hierarchy. You do that just by dragging one dimension over another. I called my hierarchy levels, and you can add more if you need to. So if I, if I wanted to now, I could select a different option for my level three, and I could drill down even further. Now I mentioned this already, but hierarchies is my number two feature for self-service analytics. Hierarchies are created either on dimensions or dates, and it allows the end user to drill down as far as they need to. They can start with a high level view or they can drill down. So as an example here, we've got, um, we're looking at our L1, which is set to category, and we've got data over time. I could also change the hierarchy on my date to either roll up to the quarter or possibly even the year. The third tip I have for you to offer end users is plenty of data filters. I've got a section on my right container where I've got plenty of filters. The first would be um, a date filter. The second would be category, subcategory, region, and segment. Not all filters have to be in this fashion, you know, kind of nestled on the right as a drop down or something like that. You can also use worksheets to interact with each other. So if I click on this table here and go to the right side where there's this little bar, there, there's a funnel icon. If I click on that, it'll tell Tableau to use this as a filter. So if I were to now click on furniture, these cards that I have along the top would filter down to reflect furniture. Or maybe if I select a given month, November, the same thing would happen. The fourth and final tip that I have for self-service in Tableau is to coach your end users on how to get to the underlying data. If I wanted to look at all the rows that made up furniture in January, I could click on a mark and in the tooltip, there's this little icon showing three columns. I can click on that and get to a summary of the data, but then I can click on the table and actually see the underlying data I can even click on show fields. 
and add columns that maybe aren't in the view currently that they may want to see, like order date or product ID, order ID, whatever that might look like. So I think it's because I'm using Tableau Public and not Tableau Desktop, but typically next to the Show Fields option, you would see another option to download data. So you could click on that and just save your um, rows as a CSV to your, to your machine. That same functionality exists in Tableau Server, Tableau Online. One thing you need to keep in mind, though, is um, that is a permission that can be turned off. So if you are an end user um, and you don't see that option when you select um, a cell, talk to your server administrator. Or if you are a server administrator or a creator, um, just make sure that those permissions are um, specified when you go to publish. So those are my four tips for fostering self-service in Tableau. Use parameters, hierarchies, use filters in all different ways, and then at least show your end users how they can access the underlying data so they can take it offline if they need to.